بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ آل آف مائی اسٹوڈنٹس فرسٹ ایئر ایم بی بی ایس فرسٹ ایئر بی ڈی ایس دے مسٹ بی ان ویری گڈ ہیلتھ اینڈ مے گاڈ آل مائی ٹی بلیس یو آل ود ہیپینیس ہیلتھ اینڈ ایکسلینس آلویز ناؤ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دا بیسکس آف ورک از دا ای سی جی ناؤ ای سی جی از ایکچولی دی Uh, you can say the derivation of electrocardiogram now what is an electrocardiogram electrocardiogram is the recording of the electrical activity of the heart on a paper is known as the ecg so it is actually the most widely done tests to find out the condition of the heart how it is working and so so all of you should be knowing the basics and today is the basic uh, lecture regarding what are the different leads how it is recorded what are the different steps we have to perform and inshallah on your way back to uh, college inshallah you will perform this uh, test as well so you can see this is actually a normal ecg which is showing different uh, waves which are upwards different waves which are downwards there is presence of different intervals then uh, there is uh, different areas so these are actually the different things which have actually got some meaning and they are actually showing the contraction or relaxation or so of different areas of the heart and uh, there is uh, a specific method by which it is actually being performed so whenever you are being asked that what is an ecg so ecg is actually the derivative of electrocardiogram which is showing us the tracing of the heart's electrical activity and uh, you have seen it when you have done the cardiac cycle uh, it is one of the components of the cardiac cycle and you have seen that how it is actually coinciding with different areas of the heart activity um the electrical changes in the heart during cardiac cycle is known as the electrocardiogram and then it is actually being plotted on the paper and we can see the true picture of how the different areas of the heart they're actually contracting or relaxing or so so if recording that is being done now how this recording of electrocardiogram that is being done now first thing you have to keep in mind is learn this one grip now grip includes greet whenever you are going to examine a person and are going to do some clinical examination or doing some test on a per- person you have to greet that person uh you can give a good uh, you can pay a salam to that person and then by doing this you are going to create a sort of a rapport now what is this rapport rapport means that the person to whom you are going to test for the heart activity or you are going to record the electrocardiogram you should be creating a sort of uh, some connection some link with that person you are going to introduce yourself to the person that you are a doctor and you are going to perform the electrocardiogram Uh, graphy on uh, cardiogram on that person then you are going to identify that the person to, uh, on whom you are performing the test is the same person uh, asked for you are going to maintain a good privacy for that person if uh, that is a female you should have a proper curtain proper sheets and uh, then explain prior to doing any sort of examination um explain the procedure to the uh, to the patient and ask and seek for the permission that whether you can do it or not
then the patient is going to be laid down on a couch comfortably and then proper exposure is very important we have to expose the chest the wrists the ankles then we have to clean the electrode sites as we have to apply different electrode so we need to shave them first so that the electrode should stick there otherwise the hair can uh, actually not make the electrodes to stay there then we have to apply the electrodes then we have to attach the wires of the ecg correctly then is it then we have to turn the machine on and it is having the calibration to move like uh, to 10 mm per millivolts and the rate at which it is going to run is like 25 mm per second now we are going to record and print and label the tracing now when we get the tracing we are going to name the we are going to label the trace with the name of the patient exact date of birth the hospital number the date the time the reason for recording so that if we have more than one patient it should not intermingle then we have to disconnect it if it is adequate and uh, we are then going to remove the electrodes we are going to redress the person we are going to uh, ask him or her if they are like perfectly fine or so and then we are going to ask them to leave so these are the different steps for recording of ecg now when we are going to record the electrocardiogram what are the different places on which the electrodes they are being placed they are very important for all of you to learn about the chest electrodes the limb electrodes now the chest electrodes they are actually numbered from v1 to v6 or c1 to 6 uh, to c6 and um, they are actually uh, the chest electrodes and you can see on the diagram their location then you can see that there is presence of different circles in different colors the red yellow black and green these are actually going to help you to learn about the limb leads or limb electrodes now limb electrodes um the right one is the showing the uh the right one is being shown by that of the red color r for right and r for red then y1 or the yellow one that is giving us the left arm then g or green one is giving us the idea about the left leg electrode and then we have the black one with b that is the right leg so you have to uh, learn this uh, ride your green bike ride your green bike so it is just like that we can say that there is the opposite side of c in such a way that first point of the c is red then yellow then green and then black so we have to learn these uh, limb electrodes and always uh, keep this thing in mind that the right leg electrode is a neutral or dummy now the electrophysiology as you all know up to now that the pacemaker that is over there at the sinoatrial node and after that the impulse is going to travel across the atria and going to reach the atrioventricular node and is going to transmit along the interventricular septum in the bundle of his and the bundle splits in two that is the right and left branches and then to prekinji fibers you can see that the overall direction of the cardiac impulse is in such a way the first one the pacemaker sinoatrial node 
and then it goes to the AV node then bundle of hairs then the interventricular septum and finally reaching the Purkinje fibers so this is actually the spread of impulses then how you can see the depolarization waves the repolarization waves how they are actually being recorded on the paper now the physiological basis of recording of ECG is that the electrical impulse which is the wave of depolarization is picked up by the placement of different electrodes on the patient the voltage change is sensed by measuring the current change across two electrodes a positive electrode and a negative electrode if the electrical impulse travels towards the positive electrode this results in a positive deflection and if the impulse travels away from the positive electrode it is going to result in the negative deflection so we should be knowing what is the meaning of positive deflection and the negative deflection if electrical impulse is traveling towards the positive electrode it is positive deflection and if it is uh, traveling away from the positive electrode it is a negative deflection now ECG leads they are the bipolar limb leads and the unipolar limb leads the types they are the limb leads in the coronal plane and in the transverse plane we have the uh, chest leads now we have the in the coronal plane or the limb leads we have the bipolar leads which are lead 1 2 and 3 then unipolar leads which are AVL, AVR, AVF and the chest leads they are from V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. Standard bipolar limb leads. Each bipolar limb lead is recording using, is recorded by using two electrodes one electrode is positive and the other is negative lead one is horizontal positive electrode of lead one is on left arm a negative electrode is on right arm positive electrode of lead two is on left foot a negative electrode is on right arm positive electrode of lead three is on left leg a negative electrode is on left arm Then lead 1. How are the 12 leads on the ECG? 1, 2, 3, AVL, AVF, AVR, V1 and V6, they form using only 9 electrode. Lead 1 is formed by using the right arm and the left arm so right arm is as uh, is used as the negative electrode and the left arm is being used as the positive electrode lead one you can see between red and yellow then lead two that is from the right arm and the left leg the right arm that is red as the negative electrode and the left leg electrode as the positive electrode see red and green and lead 3 is formed by using the left arm electrode as elec uh, negative electrode and the left leg electrode as the positive electrode see how this triangle that is being produced how these three uh, leads they are being produced lead one lead two lead three 
So this is actually just the basic info about the ECG, how it is being recorded, what are the different uh, limb leads, what are chest leads and how it is recorded and uh, uh, just basic uh, info about what is the positive deflection, what is negative deflection and inshallah in next lecture we are going to discuss it in further detail. Uh, till then. Uh, may God bless you all. Allah Hafiz.